Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pamela. Today we're talking about RCSI as promised. So I'm just going to go into the two different parts. RCSI stands for Royal College Surgeons of Ireland. And the RCSI exam is an aptitude test or an examination which comes in two parts. Part one and part two. Part one being the theory test where you do where you're expected to answer 150 multiple choice questions. And then part two is the practical test. And this is just a structured, uh, it's just a structured or observed clinical examination like the OSCE for those who are familiar with the UK part of things. So I'll go through uh, a few things with you. We were saying these are based on the NMBI standards and regulations and two attempts are allowed for this exam. And to, the basic aim of the exam is just to ensure that you, you, you are going to be able to protect the patients and the public and also to just prove your competency that you are suitable to work in Ireland. Because yes, we've done our training and got our paperwork, but they also need to see that you're, you've got the skill like. And then uh, the theory test is a supervised uh, computerized exam. So it, it's for three hours and you're supposed to answer 150 questions and you can't leave the test uh, in less than an hour. So you have to be in there for at least an hour. So if you know your stuff, you write your exam, you, 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 you submit it and you can come out in an hour, but you've got three hours at the end of the day to complete it. So there's no rush at all. And then for the theory test, um, this is just, uh, like I said, a structured observed clinical examination and basically they want to you to do things or to show your skills in a certain sequence to show that you're competent and it allows you, you to just demonstrate that and each system assesses different competencies and also guys in as much as you might know that these are the stations that they ask sometimes they tweak it a bit or they alter it a bit or they remove one at one station and put another one so familiarize yourself with all the stations that are on the website so also just for you to get all the minimum i'm sure all those who are preparing to come to ireland know this already that you need to go on the rcsi web website i'll put their link down below which will give you the minimum reading you should do which will tell you all about the stations the 10 stations each station is 10 minutes so make sure you are fast make sure you are clear you're audible and also um each like i said each each uh, station assesses different competences and um their descriptors before you go into the exam you'll get a, a a printed descriptor of a scenario and what is expected for you so what is expected from you sorry and then also, when you go inside, you will find another descriptor there, which you can refer to. The assessor will ask you if you've understood, if there are any issues before you go in. And, and then um, you need to pass, you need to show a certain level of competency in each station for you to, to be said to have passed the practical test. And then when time is up, time is up. So it's 10 minutes, guys. So my tips, let me get into the tips. That's the most important thing. Practice, practice, practice so that you you know you are on it or you know you've got the time management aspect in place and also you gain confidence in speaking because a lot of us are shy, a lot of us are not good at talking in public. We all make that excuse, but you need to practice. If you, are, if you stay alone, talk to the mirror. If you have anyone at home with you, your partner or your kids or someone who can understand and advise you, let them help you speak to them and keep practicing take it seriously guys honestly this is do or die this is the deal breaker for you to be in ireland so there's no point of making all that effort and getting on a plane and getting here and not making it yes there are very few who go back home for this but don't rely on that let's just try to do our best at everything that we attempt so just take it seriously practice before you get here and make sure when you're here you're ready for the exam uh, and I think that's all in the stations, basically. Some stations will have mannequins. Some stations will have mannequins and some will have two assessors and one assessor is the patient. So just uh, familiarize yourself with everything. Also ask, like, one thing that helped me a lot was asking people who, who've done the exam before how they did it uh, and to give you tips on their experience you're not going to get the same assessors all the time so you can't expect 
some will get assessors were just nice maybe it was just a good day and some will get some more a bit strict or some and also the most important thing about these guys don't cram or don't memorize stuff understand when you read read to understand so that when you ask things before you answer use your critical thinking think and then answer accordingly because the moment you memorize you're memorizing it according to a certain scenario most of the assessors are going to change it in the exam just to see whether you really truly understand the 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 the, 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 the um, concept so you need to use your critical thinking when you when you're answering the questions before you answer a question think and then yeah time time management is very important make sure you you you, you practice and you time yourself you talk to the mirror to gain self-confidence and basically i think that's it um acquaint yourself like familiarize yourself with the, the the what's expected and um i think another tip that that i can give you is your skill like sometimes the assessor on a certain uh scenario just wants to see how you place something just wants to see how you clean a wound just wants to see the technique so make sure you get that right and talk to as much people as you can who've had the exam find out their experiences your experience will be different it's not the same for everyone so don't go into there thinking oh pamela when she went in this is how it was and that's how it is going it's going to be for me but also be confident in yourself. Make sure you're audible. They can hear you. They can understand you. That's a plus. And yeah, time management. Make sure you, you, you've you got all your information. You've given out all the information in the required time. So basically, that's it. There's nothing else I can tell you on RCSI. Besides, go to your website, rcsi, www.rcsi.ie, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll pin it down below. I'll check it for you. Go there. Do the reading. Make sure you, when you get here, and uh, CSI is a list of your problems, all the best.